open tag for my brother Ross Carlos. Now check this out. There's five signature scent worthy fragrances for men. That's the tag. He left it open. He didn't tag anyone in particular. He just left it an open tag. And I said, yo, listen, I'm in. I'm, I'm diving in. I got next. Back to the video. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back again with another video. This is an open tag. Five signature scent worthy fragrances for men. Before we do that though, we gotta get the business out the way. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below, share the video. Thumbs up with a thumbs down button and let the ads run. That's it. That's it. Now the business is out the way. I got five signature scent worthy fragrances my collection these fragrances I think are excellent you will get your money's worth you will get compliments and maybe two or three of them people not even talking about so we're gonna jump right into it cuz I'm not gonna be here long I'm not trying to you know give you no 30 40 minute video Nah, I'm gonna give it to you but I'm telling you because I love these fragrances so much and I wear them a lot, I might ramble off, so it might be in a 20 minute range. Okay, so let's go. First one, this one, I'm mad it took me so long to come across, but I wanna thank my other brother. Y'all might know him as, their, their, well, formerly known as Mr. Cheap Sense. He's now going by the fragrant life, my brother Keith. He introduced me to this fragrance right here, and I'm so freaking mad that it took me so long to get it. I liked it so much, I told my brother about it and he bought a bottle. From the house of Burberry, this is Burberry Mint. Now look at the dent in this son of a gun here. Look at that dent. I love this fragrance. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna give you the notes. According to Fragrantica, you got mint, lavender, bergamot, thyme, cedar, sandalwood, geranium, jasmine, oak moss, musk, vanilla, and amber. Let me tell you what I get out of this. Spicy, it's charming, it's mature, it's trustworthy. That's a key word, trustworthy. This fragrance has not let me down one time. Never let me down. And it's a compliment getter. I'm telling you, I gave you the notes. Now I'm telling you exactly how I feel about the fragrance. You get a little minty spiciness to it, a, a slight sweetness, but it's charming and it's mature. It's classy. This is a signature scent for anybody. Now there's two versions of it though. There's one that's that's made in Germany, which is this one. There's another one that's made in France. I heard they're a little bit different, but I don't know. I just know that this damn thing is a, it's a hell of a fragrance. And again, look at this. Out of all the bottles of, of colognes that I have, these are one of the ones that I wear the most. I'm serious, it's that good. Get it if you can. Burberry, Burberry Mint, okay? The next one, this one. This one was introduced to me by a gentleman that had probably one of the most R-rated fragrance channel on YouTube other than my brother, Joey Cannoli. I'm talking about Lex Ellis. He introduced me to this fragrance right here and I never looked back. I'm talking about Saruti La Essence de Saruti. That's the name of this thing. Let me give you the notes. You got bergamot, pepper, saffron, leather, woody notes, musk, amber, and cedar. What I think about this fragrance. 
you notice I only spray one time because I do not want to run under the spray. This right here. I bought a backup bottle of this 1.2 ounce bottle, but I'm telling you, if I find a, a 3.4 ounce at a reasonable price, I'm jumping on it because this thing smells good. So what I think about it, fantastic. It's fantastic. It's elegant. For anybody that want an introduction into leather, this is like the perfect fragrance for it. The perfect fragrance. It's pleasant. I have it on my skin right here. It's mature, yet modern. And it's high quality. And if I didn't say classy, very classy. This is a signature scent for anybody looking for a signature scent. You can still find these. These are still in production. Ceruti, La Essence de Ceruti. I'm telling you, if you don't like leathers, this has a saffron and a leather note in this. That's amazing. This is a great scent. Very high quality, very classy, very pleasant. Ceruti, La Essence de Ceruti. It's probably one of my favorite fragrances. And look at that. I put a dent in this too. Signature scent worthy. And if I didn't say it before, this is signature scent worthy as well. Now one of the fragrance houses I'm known for, and I was once called the fanboy. Well, no one said that to me personally, but I kind of thought that's what people thought about me. When it came to this house here, and that's Cartier, this one here, Cartier, Pasha de Cartier Edition Noir. Now don't get the name, or don't confuse the name Noir with being dark. This is not dark. It's not a dark fragrance. You got citruses, cedar, amber, mint, watery notes, black pepper, iris, violet, heliotrope, and cloves. This is an office friendly scent for all year round. All year round. It's pleasant. It's deep, but not dark. It's bright. It's uplifting. It's a great fragrance for a signature scent. You can wear this thing here, get compliments. It's easy to wear. You can dress it up, dress it down. This is just one hell of a fragrance. One hell of a fragrance. Get the iris and the violet. So it's going it's gonna have that that modern day feel. I almost said in Broxon feel. It's gonna have that modern day feel, but it's slightly different than Sauvage. Um, even Prada Luna Rosa um, Carbon. It's a, it's a like it's, it's completely different than that. But it's in that ball part, it's in that area. Again, it's very office friendly. Dress it up, dress it down, casual, formal, running errands. It's a versatile scent. But being versatile can also mean a signature scent. A signature scent means you can wear it at any time. You wear it every day, if need be. That's where this one came come into. It can be a signature scent for anybody. Pasha de Cartier Edition Noir. Get your nose on it. You won't be disappointed. And it's it has that upscale. Upscale, I want to say it. It gives you that confidence because it's coming from a luxury house. It's coming from a house that's not luxury and fragrances because for some reason they can do all the luxury and everything else. Glasses gonna cost you a million dollars. Um the watches gonna cost you a billion dollars. You get what I'm saying here? Like this is a luxury house. They're known for only their luxury gear or their luxury um, items. This is a luxury fragrance. They are gonna put the quality into anything with their name on it. It's gonna have quality. It's gonna have prestige. Pasha de Cartier Edition Noir. The next one from a house that's known for their suits. 
and their suits can run you anywhere from five thousand all the way up to like twenty to thirty thousand dollars for a suit. Yes, I'm talking about Brioni, Brioni EDP. This one, Mosaic Notes, Green Apple, Pink Pepper, Violet, and um, Ambroxan, um, Ambroxan, Cedar, Musk, and Tonka Bean. This fragrance here. Put together soft slightly powdery a little floral clean very clean but it's also bright and elegant bright and elegant that's what I say about this fragrance man. this is super nice very good scent very good scent. It's not gonna break the bank either. You can pick a tester up. This is a tester bottle. Tester bottle. But this is a signature scent if I ever smell one. Very upscale as well. <laughs> it, it don't belong, it, it doesn't smell like it's a designer fragrance. It's, it's a little bit up there on the higher end, like a, a Dior, that vibe. Very good. Brioni, Brioni EDP. I mean, look at the bottle. Have that same color scheme as Lou de Chanel. <laughs> I'm about to chop the name up. It has that same color scheme almost. But it has that embroxed and that floral notes that gives it a little. It's, it's different. It's different than Blue de Chanel. It's definitely different. Because it has that floral aspect to it. But it's also, like I said, it's clean. It's bright. It's powdery. It's soft. It's soft. But it's super elegant. Okay? Brioni. Brioni EDP. And lastly, from one of the houses that I be becoming a really big fanboy of, well, some of their fragrances. I like their women's version of this. Of course, I wear mine. My wife had to rock hers at the same time. We normally only wear it when we go into some special event or something like that. That's when I tell her, like, you gotta wear this one. I don't tell her, but I ask her if she wanna wear this. All right, from the house of Trasati, this is Umo, the one with the pony head. All right, let me tell you something. I just had a fly come in this house, right? And I swung at it. I swung at it. This is a second bottle. When I say just now, I mean 10 minutes ago, I swung at it and guess what? When I swung at it, I hit this little stand that I uh, have my fragrances on. And this particular bottle tipped over, not this one, but the, the other one that was like this, fell, hit the floor, broke off from the head, and spilt half the fragrance on the floor because there's no head to it now. It's just open, no atomizer, nothing, just broke. Goddamn fly. But anyway, let's talk about this fragrance right here. Galvanin, bergamot, Italian lemon, geranium, clary sage, violet leaves, leather, moss, patchouli. This is boss scent. This is a boss scent. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a, it's a modern day fougere. Modern day fougere. It's rich and it's warm. It's rich and it's warm. I didn't even have to spray this because I, I, I love it. I wore it recently. But just for the sake of it, let's go. Top tier. Very balanced. Very balanced. But again, it's rich and it's warm. This is a CEO scent. This is a signature scent for anybody. This bottle don't cost a lot. This bottle don't cost, it's under 100 bucks for this bottle. And if I didn't say it already, it's a modern day fougere. And it's top tier. Can't go wrong. This is a signature scent right here. Signature scent. I love it. I love it. It gives me that confidence when I'm putting it on. I almost want to say like I'm a, I'm 
mob boss or something like that you know I just every time I smell it I think of that like um, John Gotti a nice tailored suit hair nicely tight and groomed with the gel going back rocking this right here or something similar to it something smelling like this that's what I that's what I or I who, who I picture wearing this fragrance John Gotti when he was in his prime he was a dapper don you know what I'm saying he walked around with the flyer suits on the flyer shoes you know being chauffeured around looking good smelling good you know boss that's what I picture this fragrance that's 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 what I, that's the image I get when I smell this fragrance that's what I want to say. That's the image I get when I smell this fragrance. A mob boss, a CEO, a CEO of a Fortune 500 company, like that type of, that's the person I, I believe we're in this. I can even say or see like Warren Buffett wearing this to like a, a financial meeting, the biggest financial meeting in the world. He's rocking this. Older man, you know, well groomed, mature, but still can be worn in modern day. Trasadi Umo. All right, that's my five, man. I want to thank everybody for sticking around and watching. Thanking my brother Ross for leaving us as an open tag. So I'm gonna do my dilly do and edit thumbnail get it out to you guys all right closing out don't forget to like comment subscribe share the video thumbs up with a thumbs down button and let the ads run and remember the slogan don't spray on a fragrance until you wash your ass that's it all right enough said it's your boy sam broom signing off peace Back to doing another video.